All right, well, just finishing up my my three mile walk, you know, just down down that road, three miles. It's, it's, it's a very long, long trek that way. No, I'm 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 kidding. I'm, I'm I literally just walked out of my house, came down over here. I'm like, how am I going to set up the shot? This and that. But hey, you know, walking's good. I don't think walking's a bad thing. I like hiking. Hiking's really great. But you know, from all this uh, walking, I'm thinking it's time I have something to quench my thirsts. Hi, my name is Gabriel Manic. I'm an actor, and I'm thirsty. Hmm. All right. Well, it is yet another brisk evening today in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm so glad that I got home at a really good time where I could just, like, I don't know if you can see this. That's, that's my view every time around this time for me every day. Pretty nice, huh? And I think the fact that it's a nice chill night, I'm gonna be doing an Irish Red. I just picked this up from Ironmonger a few days ago and I'm pretty sure I've had it on draft. You know, an Irish Red on a cool, brisk evening. I think that's a great, it's a great choice. How are you guys doing on a Saturday night? Except this is posting on some other day. So let me know how your Saturday night was or just how your current evening is going. Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you guys are enjoying these. So, pour this here. It did not, it did not, look at that. That was great, that is, that is a good amount. Guys, ladies, don't be afraid of, afraid, afraid. I haven't even had a sip yet. What's going on here? Don't be afraid of foam. Foam is your best friend. It allows the aromas to come out. So like I, already after I poured it, I just got a nice whiff of it. So good, so, so good. And when the O2 is released in the beer, like I said, it allows the aromas to come out so that then your taste buds pick up on the flavor profile more. So, and if that's complete BS, at least it sounded good, right? It sounded like I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> All right, well, first sip's the one that counts when you're thirsty. That smells really good. That smells really, really good. Yeah. That is very Irish ready. It is very red. And it is it is ready to be drunken. Drunken. To be drank. To be dranked. Hey, um, if you're one of the people that wrote and came up with the English language, please let me know. What, which is the right way to say it? Um, I'm pretty sure you're still around right now. And if you're not, uh, maybe we'll just take out a Ouija board and talk to your ghost. This is just really delicious. Yeah, that aroma is so good. That is pretty good. I thought it was gonna be like, have a little bit more sweetness to it, but it doesn't, and that's not a bad thing. It's a nice, straightforward, dry red ale. It's pretty good. Ironmonger is a place that I used to, and I reviewed them once before, and they never shared the post. You guys never shared the post. I feel like this could be a uh, scene in Seinfeld. Jerry, Jerry, he didn't share the review. He didn't share the review. He didn't share the review. So share the review, at least this one, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Um, this is this is pretty great, but yeah, Ironmonger they have Axtorrent. Like they're, I think one. There's only one or two of them in Georgia, that uh, like a brewery that also is an Axtorrent range. So go check them out. They're great, and they've got deals on Groupon. So just save a little money. You know what I mean? Yeah. They also have free, not free, uh, unlimited throwing on Tuesdays for twenty dollars, which is a excuse me, a pretty good deal. All right, well, the Murph dog. Oh, I'm like looking for the can. Where's the can? It's right in front of me. Where are my glasses? Um, the Murph dog, Irish red, is 5.5. Probably should have read this before. With a malty backbone with a crisp finish. Yeah, it's pretty true. It's pretty, pretty, pretty crisp. The Irish red ale is nothing to bark about. Well, I guess barking is a bad thing. Nobody likes barking, but also kind of sounds like, eh. It's nothing to bark about. Like, so it also sounds like it sucks. 
<laughs> but it doesn't suck. Uh, I think that's really funny. Like, plus, you know, I, I love puns, so um, that's all right. That's all right. But what I'm going to give it, I'm going to start barking. <laughs> um, this red ale on a nice brisk evening. I just looked at the time and it said 555. Synchronicity. Let's see. I'll give it a 7-8. I'll give it a 7-8. It is good. I wish there was a little bit of sweetness, especially coming from that malt. Because, like, oh, what a great opportunity. But, especially, like, if you're looking for an Irish red on St. Patrick's Day or just around then, great beer to go with anytime, year-round. So, if you're a local, stop on by Aramonger. And if you're here visiting in town, make sure that this is one of your stops. So, it's getting loud with those people mowing back there. So, I'm going to go. Cheers. See you on the next review.